One of the fantastic new features for Microsoft Word Online using the Office 365 or Microsoft 365 is the transcription function. So how does it work? Well, just go to your Microsoft 365 or Office 365 and click on Word. And then uh, you can create a new Word document or, or whatever. I'm going to choose a new document in this case because I want to have everything all separated. Now, when you get here, um, you're just going to navigate over to where it says dictate and so we're going to click on the little down arrow next to dictate and choose transcribe. Now what's great about this is that you can uh, go up to it says 300 transcription upload minutes used this month so you can have up to 300 minutes per month. That's a lot which is great um, and so you can actually record directly using a microphone or you can upload audio. So what I did is, I'm going to just show you really quick here. I just uploaded a um, public domain thing from Project Gutenberg. This is Aesop's Fables. Uh, I just wanted to have something I could upload. This is about 11 minutes. So you can see how slow it kind of goes. It's not that bad, but it does take a little bit of time to do that. So I'm just going to show you, skip ahead. We're going to go over here. So here's the Aesop's Fable where I downloaded that. Um, so here is the sample audio transcription. So after it was uploaded, it shows a little player up here and it shows you each of the sections. And we can actually skip to a particular section and listen to it um, by just clicking on the time. And I can also edit the transcription. I can click on that and edit it. So you can actually listen to it so that you can make edits to each of the sections. Um, and if you're happy with it. You'll notice how it says speaker one. If you have different speakers, it will automatically go between speaker one, speaker two, speaker three, for example. But I just want to show you what you can do with this afterwards. So once you've done all your editing and you're happy with it and everything's all good, then just click on add all to document. And what it will do is at the top of the page, it'll give a link to the audio file. So the audio file gets put into your OneDrive. And so you can link to that. And then it has the transcription below it. And here is the transcription. Now you can obviously edit it here as well. It's a little easier up here because you can click on a time and edit each of those sections separately. But this is a way that you can get a transcription and it actually works quite well. Um, it does have some problems with some unique uh, names and things like that, but common language, it does very, very well. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That's how you can get a transcription of an audio file using Microsoft Word Online.